For those of you that are new to the series, these websites I show you today will cover a wide range of categories, and hopefully you'll find some of these sites to be useful to you. As requested, I've reduced the list down to five to spend more time on each website. So in this video, I'll show you five useful websites that you wish you knew earlier, and we're getting started right now. Number one, my fridge food. Now most of us have leftover items in a refrigerator or pantry, which instead of being wasted, could be used for some other recipe we don't know about. This is where my fridge food comes in handy. You have the options on their landing page for a quick kitchen, which is a short list of more common items, or for a more extensive list, you could select show all ingredients. Here's how you use it, it's really simple. You just select all the items on the list that you currently have. So I'll select bacon, avocado, buffalo hot sauce, eggs, and salsa. When you're done, just select find recipes. And under each recipe, it'll let you know if there are any missing ingredients. If you see a recipe that looks interesting, just select it. And here for the bacon wrapped eggs, gives you all the cooking details, along with the directions and ingredients. The great thing about this site is it's completely free, and you can also sign up on the site if you wanna save your recipes. Number two, typing.com. Some of you out there are great at typing, as long as it's on a smartphone. But when it comes to typing on a computer keyboard, you may need to improve your skills. The hunt and peck method of typing is amusing to watch, but it's not the most efficient. This is where typing.com can help you out. There's a teacher section that can help to grade and track a student's progress. And if you're a student just wanting to get in some extra practice or an adult just wanting to get better at typing, select students. At the very top, you can log into the site if you'd like to save your progress. And I'll show you a quick example on how to use the site. So to get started, select typing lessons. I created a new account so we could start here at the beginning. When you're ready, select start your lessons. All you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions and the lessons start out really easy. So once you've read the instructions, select continue. And it just wants me to do the letter J here. So I'll try to type it quickly. Then just go to the next screen, read the instructions again, select continue. Now it wants me to type the letter J with some spaces. So let me try this out. As you progress further, it does get more difficult. They offer typing tests that can earn you certificates that you can show off to other people. They also offer games to make learning typing more fun. Typing.com is completely free with unlimited use for both students and teachers. Number three, can you run it? Before buying a video game for your PC, check out this site, especially if you're running on an older computer to see if a particular game will run on your system. This is useful to avoid paying for a game that you can't play, since most refund policies are not that great. Let me show you how to use it. First, search for a game you're interested in buying. So I'll select Fallout 4, then find Fallout 4 on the list, then select Can You Run It? Right now I'm showing you this site on a work computer, so it doesn't have top-notch gaming specs. For the game Fallout 4, it will list below the minimum and recommended requirements. Now select Can You Run It Again? Now it wants you to download an applet, which is completely safe and well-trusted, so download it on your system, and follow the instructions on this page so you can run it to scan your system hardware. You'll only need to do this the first time on the site. Now go back to the home page for Can You Run It? We'll do the same search as earlier. So Fallout 4, find it on the list. Select Can You Run It? Now on my work computer, it says Fallout 4 meets the minimum requirements, but it doesn't meet the recommended requirements. Number four, Khan Academy. This is one of the best learning sites on the internet. Founded back in 2006, Khan Academy is completely free. Recently, I featured them in an Android app video that a few of you may have seen. They also have an iOS app. 
There are several categories to choose from, including math, science and engineering, computing, arts and humanities, and economics. They'll even help you practice to get ready for the SAT and other tests. To get started, just select a topic you need help with. You can either start from the basics or skip ahead to an area that you need help with. Then you just follow the instructions on the screen. Number five, Soundation. This last one I'm gonna show you, in my opinion, is super cool. Soundation is a music studio in the cloud with many features including recording, effects, virtual instruments, and over 700 free loops and sounds. Instead of just talking about it, let's jump in and I'll briefly show you how it works. Select Launch the Studio. What's great about this is you don't have to have any music experience at all. You'll notice your audio channels are here on the left. If you need more, you just hit the plus sign down here. There are sliders so you can adjust the volume for each channel. And there are several effects that you can choose from. Over on the right side, in the library tab, all of these sounds are free and you can pay extra to get premium sounds. I'm going to show you a quick example on how to use it here. So I'm going to select Electronica 125. Now I'll select Kick and just click and drag it over to an audio channel. To extend the time, just grab a corner, click and drag. Let's hear how that sounds. Now let's add clap, click and drag it, extend it out, and let's hear that. That sounds pretty cool. Now let's add a snare and hear that. That's not too bad. I would suggest playing around with this for a while, experimenting with the free sounds to make some really cool music. To learn how to use Soundation, they have how-tos and videos to get you started. I've only used the free account so far. If you need more features, they do offer paid versions starting at $4.99 per month. That concludes this list. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description of this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you got something useful from it. Let me know in the comments if you know of a useful website that you think more people should know about. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button for more from our website series and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.